25 years ago today, I graduated from high school. I walked across the stage and shook hands with the man who at the time was the uh, commandant of the base, got my diploma, ready the next day I went to Chicago. I'd already hooked up a job, already hooked up a place to stay. I was looking forward to working the summer before college because I was uh, really uh, excited and proud to be the first person in my family to ever even try to go to college and I got into a pretty good school. Today's the 25th anniversary of that day I graduated from high school. I never graduated from college. I had some problems. Turned out I had a different understanding of what was supposed to be considered women's leadership paradigms. Last night I got a swaspante, got a response that, wow, she responded immediately. I wasn't sure what it was in regards to, you know, without appropriately identifying what you're doing when you engage people in secret proceedings so that you can leave a sense of, uh, plausible deniability for your culpability, then you always run the risk that you have escalated it above and beyond a point you are willing to be responsible for. And that implies that you may potentially be implicated in willfully engaging in a criminal activity with the understanding that you can cover it up some way. A while ago, I did something. It was my own, I guess, sua sponte. And I believe it's absolutely relevant to what's happening today. There was an announcement that I found that there had been a leak that an oil, uh, a diesel depot in the Arctic Circle in Russia had uh, uh, burst two days ago and it's been leaking into the water system for two days. But it took apparently up to two days to let the leadership of Russia that was not in the Arctic know about it. Somebody decided to sit on it. Somebody decided to wait until, I guess, uh, what? A public announcement could be made on June 3rd? No, 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 it's not about me specifically. Or is it? Presidential documents from Federal Register, Volume 82, Number 13. Printed Monday, January 13th, 2017. Executive Order 13764 of January 17th, 2017. Three years to the day after this executive order was passed, somebody decided to put her name on two legal filings that I had submitted the day before in order to combine them into one that was completely outside of the appropriate jurisdiction. But that through named reference would allow her to be the bond broker for the matters mentioned inside and as a part of that proceeding. I've been tracking it since. Amending the civil service rules, Executive Order 13488 and Executive Order 13467 to modernize the executive branch-wide governance structure and processes for security clearances, suitability and fitness for employment, and credentialing in related matters. The day I printed this out, I printed out a few other things because I understood that someone had attempted to try to engage me in a process that was not legitimate. The ironic thing about this is that right here, Executive Order 13754 of December 9th, 2016, Northern Bering Sea Climate Resilience. I believe at the time I found this that this was actually a sort of derivative notice by the President of the United States regarding his tribal housing plan that was not revealed until sometime later on his way out of office. As a matter of fact, the last action President Obama made as president was to deliver a press release regarding uh, notice concerning the tribal housing situation in the United States. Among the many things he said is that there were $11 million in expenditures as part of the tribal housing authority that he did not authorize. 
since then we've had many, many things that have gone on in the year, last year, concerning climate justice, protests all over the world, including in manners where teachers and administrators support their students standing up for climate justice, for resiliency. Here's the map. This is the map that was officially submitted as part of the executive order. It's much like a plat, like a plat when you're defining your real estate, when you're about to build a house or you're about to build a development, including one that might qualify as a PPP, public private partnership, mixed income, a certain percentage of public housing or subsidized housing or affordable housing that is required for a new residential development. I'm sure these things have absolutely nothing to do with each other. Just as I'm sure this current uh, paradigm around confining us to our houses while there's an alleged public health outbreak has nothing to do with the small business administration's administration budget and has nothing to do with diesel leaking into the Arctic Sea right? Nothing at all. 